Hey guys, um, today, uh, my mind is a little bit clearer, and, uh, I wanted to talk about a really, um, hot topic. It's pretty highly disputed. Uh, I can't even think of the word I want, but, uh, but the topic is about, um, you know, assisted suicide or, uh, euthanasia, that kind of thing, uh, for people with chronic illness. And, um, I posted about this on Facebook a while back, um, just a brief comment, um, that has gotten so many, uh, replies, and, uh, is kind of stirring up a debate, and I almost didn't post it because I knew I would get some backlash, but I'm going to share my views, and I want to preface this by saying that these are only my views, um, I, everybody has to make their own decision on this, um, I'm still working on making my decision, uh, so please don't take what I say and think, oh, well, she said you have to do this, because I'm not saying anything like that, because I don't even know the answers yet, but what I do know is that with ME, um, if doctors catch it early enough, yeah, you can, you know, you can get better, um, mostly, somewhat, uh, if they don't catch it, and it continues to progress, the patterns that I've seen, uh, and I've spent hours researching this, um, there's a certain progression of symptoms, and they get worse over time, and with the specific progression that I've had, it generally leads to a place where you are completely bedbound. Um, you can't handle any stimulus, stimulus, stimuli, you know, light, sound, touch, uh, any of that. Um, it's a horrible place to be. Your family members, just their presence causes just incredible agony. Um, and, you know, they can only come in just, you know, to feed you through your feeding tube or you know, empty your pee bag or whatever, um, and that's no life. <coughs> Excuse me. Still recovering from my friend's visit, so I can, I, I still have a fever and stuff. And, well, I always have a fever. I've had one for like a decade now, but that's part of my illness, but, <coughs> sorry. What I've decided personally, doctor-assisted suicide is not legal in my state. Um, what is legal is refusing medical treatment, including feeding tubes. Now, this differs depending on where you live, but where I am, it's legal to refuse that. And I will refuse that when it comes down to it. My appetite, uh, not so much my appetite, well, that too, but my ability to eat, to get food down, to actually go through the physical process of eating has uh, been up and down a lot. Some days I get a couple bites down, um, other days... You know, I might get, um, you know, even a couple meals down. Uh, most days it's in between. I, most days I get about one meal down, but it takes me a while to get it down. So, um, when it comes to the point where my body can no longer naturally uh, eat food and process it and so on, then, you know, that'll be it. And that simplifies it for my family. But... Yeah, it, even now, it's not healthy for my family to have to sit and watch me waste away like this. That's not healthy. It's not right. Um, and I have to do what's in the best interest of everyone involved. And right now, it seems like that would be not sticking around. Um, me being around is creating a huge burden. Uh, emotionally and financially... Um, in every way possible on my loved ones and uh, I know that they're struggling with it some of them have been honest enough to tell me that they are really struggling with this um, it's very hard for them so to think that this could go on and get worse uh, is, is not something that I want to see happen so I'm going to have to create a second video because I'm going to run out of time here so watch for part 2 love you guys, bye